my channel so you can probably tell by the title of this video that today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. I didn't want to film this video at the beginning just because I don't own an abnormal amount of makeup but I figured that I could film this video anyway and it would be something nice to look back on in a few months or years and yeah it would be just nice to see how much my makeup collection has grown. I love makeup and I love collecting it, it's something that, I don't know, makes me happy and that's why I might have more makeup than some people might own. But I wanted to put it like a big disclaimer out here that I'm not bragging about the amount of makeup that I own in any shape or form. I get sent quite a lot of things like makeup products to review and to basically talk about so that's why I might own a bit more makeup than I should own. And I'm not saying that you need this amount of makeup because you don't. It's just something I love and yeah, everybody has things that they love and makeup is one of mine. So without making the video extremely long, let's jump straight into it. So here is a little overview of what my makeup station looks like. So you can see the IKEA 9 Alex drawers and you can also see the desk. Now I'm going to show you what's inside of them and run you through everything. So first I'm going to show you what I have in my IKEA Alex 9 drawers. These drawers are literally the best thing ever. I know that you have probably seen them on most of like YouTube channels and bloggers and everything like that but they are honestly the best thing ever and they just store all of my makeup and yeah, it's just a perfect storage place for my makeup. So on top, as you can see, I have flowers, little candle holders, little cactus. Then I have some body sprays from Victoria's Secret and two of my favorite pairs of sunglasses from Beach Club Boutique. I'm going to link them down below if you wanna check them out. Now I'm going to show you what I have in the drawers. So in the first one, I have setting sprays, concealers, foundations, powders and primers. So the first thing I see is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. I really really like that one. And a dupe for that is the Avon Magique's Prime and Set Spray. I really really like this and I use it a lot. As for powders, my favourite powder has to be the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's just the best powder I've ever used and I have two here and another one in my on my desk like. Then I have the NYX HD Studio Powder. I haven't yet used this but I'm really excited to. And then just some random powders from like Barry M and everything like that. This one is cracked as you can see. But yeah, just random powders. As for primers, I have the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. I also have the Maybelline Baby Skin and Miniature Benefit Professional and Stay Flawless. As for foundation, I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation that I use every day. I have the L'Oreal True Match, the Rimmel Lasting Finish. Rimmel Match Perfection, this is my favourite like foundation of all time. And then some collection and gosh and Maybelline BB Cream and some samples back here. Then for concealers I have the Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer, I go through these a lot. Then I have the collection concealers, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the MAC Pro Longwear. I also have the Benefit Erase Paste and just another mini kind of like Benefit product. So that's everything for the first drawer. In the second drawer I keep highlighters, bronzers and like contour products and blush. So for my highlighting products, here I have two Barry M, what are they called? Raiden Rod kind of highlighting sticks. I also have another highlighting stick, stick from Beauty UK. It's really, really nice, I really like that. A Mini Benefit Girl Meets Pearl. I used to be obsessed with this product. My ColourPop Highlighter in Wisp. Then I have the Natural Collection kind of, um, what's it called? Chubby Stick, I guess. 
that's really nice as well. A new addition to my highlighter collection is the 17 Skin Wow 3-Way Highlighter. It's like a primer as well and I'm really excited to try it out. The next one is the Soap and Glory Hocus Focus, the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, one from Technic Cosmetics, another one from I Heart Makeup, it's so pretty, look, wait, this is what it looks like. Then I have some more back here, so Benefit, that's like really old. But you still use this all the time. Another one from Makeup Forever. The Sleek Highlighting Palette. And the Makeup Revolution Radiance Highlight Palette. It just has like three different um, highlighters in it. I really, really like that one. As for contour and bronzer products, the first thing I have is the Cover Shoot Contouring Palette. It just looks like this. That's what it looks like. It just has three different shades in it. Next thing I have is another contour palette. It's from Beauty UK and has a lot more shades in it. Then I have bronzers like the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Natural Bronzer, I can't talk. Then some MAC like powders that are too dark as for powders, so I use them as bronzers. The Bourjois Chocolate Bar like powder. The Collection Define and Conquer contour kit. Another one from Technic Cosmetics. And a little chubby stick. More chubby sticks from Beauty UK. This Correct and Contour Palette from Technic Cosmetics. This Bourjois Bronzer. My Sleek Palette. It's just the Contour Palette. This one. <laughs> um, and then blushes are in the back and I'll show you those now. So I don't have that many blushes just because I don't use them as often. So here I have chubby sticks from Barry M. Then I have two MAC blushes that I used to use a lot. A Benefit Coralista blush. The little miniature Benefit like lolly tins and Benetins. A little bourgeois blush. Accessorize. and artistry and like a little Too Faced one. It's so cute, it's so small. So that's everything for that drawer. In this drawer I have my mascaras, eyeliners, lashes and brows. For mascaras I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, you know that's my favorite. My Better Than Sex by Too Faced, Soap and Glory, more Maybelline, more Maybelline. <laughs> Then the little Benefit They're Real and some Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Oh, and some like Barry M mascaras as well. Then for eyeliners, I have the Barry M Super Cat Eyeliner, it's one of my favorites. A new addition is the Beauty UK HD Define Duo Felt Tip Eyeliner. It just has two different sides to it and it's like a pen. So I really, really like them. Some cold pencils from Barry M and yeah, just some random bits. Then for brows, I have my favorite pencils from Soap and Glory. They're the archery ones. So I just have some backups of those. Some Barry M ones that I haven't used yet. Some more from Beauty UK. Then in here I have some clear brow gel, my like tint that I use to tint my brows with, some Benefit Ready Set Brow, then some little kits, so this one is from Rimmel, and another one is from Sleek. Then I have this new one, it's from Kiss, and it comes with like stencils and everything, I really really like that. And another one from Cover Shoot, it just looks like this comes with three different shades and like a primer it's really really good so yeah that's everything for brows then going in the back I have some lashes so I have some duo glue and then I have some girls with attitude lashes 
and some more back here. Then I have some pennies, sultry lashes, and the pennies individual lashes, some Euler ones, and last but not least, I have some Ardell Demi Wispies. I love these so much, they're like the best lashes ever. So yeah, that's everything for my lashes. The next drawer is full of eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows. I don't have that many, but I really like the ones that I have. So the first palette here is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Then I have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. A palette from Girls Attitude. This Makeup Revolution one, another one from Technic Cosmetics, then I have like a MAC quad, some Wet n Wild eyeshadows, some more from Cover Shoot, and like these, this really bright one here, and then underneath there I have a Makeup Revolution palette, again, oh everything's falling. <laughs> Then over here I have a little palette from Beauty UK, the Tanya Burr palette, I really really like this one, another one from Collection, then I have a Sleek palette, and some Barry M palettes, and yeah just so on. Then for single eyeshadows I have a couple from Colourpop so they're just like the single eyeshadows all the way here. Then I have some MUA shadows, a little one from Stila, then I have two MAC ones and some Maybelline Colour Tattoos. I'm obsessed with these, I really really like these. Then I have another one from Bourjois, it just looks like this. And um, what else? A little H&M one and then just a couple of random ones there. So that's all the eyeshadows that I have. This here is my lip drawer and I have some more lip products like on my desk but these are the like majority of, the, of my lip products. So here I have like kind of chubby sticks and everything like that so the Tanya Burr lip gloss, Revlon color burst, then some Bourjois, another one from Essence, the Bam and Meat Matte Hue, the Topshop Everything Stick, the Too Faced Melted, then I have like two lip balms here and this is all my lip liners. So I have ones from Pennies, Rimmel, Essence, and NYX. Then in here I have all my lipsticks. So like ones from Rimmel, Kiko, like this. Ones from Soap and Glory. Maybelline, Barry M, and then just some random ones as well. Back there I have boxes because I'm one of them people that keeps all the boxes. <laughs> and then in here I have my Colourpop lipsticks. So these are all my liquid lipsticks down here. Then here I have my lippy sticks and just two little lip glosses. So that's everything from my lip drawer. Then we're on to the drawers that are no longer makeup related but I still figured out that I'm going to show you them because you might want to know what I keep in the rest of the drawers. So this drawer is like my facial skincare. So I have things like the Garnier Micellar Water and another one of them here. Then I have some Cleanse and Polish and a backup one down there as you can see. Then I have some tonic waters and more like cleansing kind of products from Soap and Glory. Then I have a Lush face mask down here. Some more 
scrubs for my face and the simple facial wash and simple wipes. Then I have things like the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I use this as a lip balm and I really really like it. Another Elizabeth Arden product is the 8 hour cream. It's just a moisturizer and SPF. Then a cream that I use every single day is the Body Shop Oils of Life and I just use this going to sleep. Then I have some Boots Botanics products. I don't know if that's how you say it, but yeah. Uh, this is the serum that I used to use all the time. As you can see, I'm like almost finished with it. I really, really like this. And it's super affordable as well. And the cream that goes with it is this one. And it's just a hydrating day cream. I really like that as well. And then I just have a couple of random things down there from like La Roche Posay and benefit and all of that. The next drawer is kind of body cream, body skincare related and some hand products there as well. So here I have some deodorants as you can see. Then in this box I have my hand care kind of product. So the first thing is this EOS hand cream. Then I have a couple of Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers. As you can see, there is one more here. Then I have some hand creams, like this one. I really love the cap of that. <laughs> and a exfoliating hand treatment. This apple and cinnamon hand cream from Oriflame. I don't know if you're like familiar with the brand, but I really, really like it. Then I have this nail and cuticle oil. And yeah, just some more like hand creams back there. Then over here I have some body butters and body creams. So this one is from Bath & Body Works. And I love the smell of it. Then I have this Soap & Glory Heal Genius foot cream. Some more from Victoria's Secret. Another one from Marc Jacobs. I have two of them because it comes with like the perfumes that I usually get. Then I have some baby oil that I use as moisturizer because they're like really good for you. Then some like fake kind of tans and yeah, just things like that. The next drawer is my hair care and everything to do with my hair. So in this drawer I have things like a L'Oreal hairspray. Then I have some dry shampoos like the Batiste dry shampoo in Sweetie. I love this one. It's like the best dry shampoo ever. Then I have this L'Oreal L5 Extraordinary Oil and it's just like a cream face mask. Not face mask, hair mask. <laughs> then I have this Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance. It's just like a conditioning spray. I really, really like this. Then I have the Lee Stafford treatment for hair that never grows past a certain length. It's just a backup for the one that I already have in my bathroom and then I have another one down there. I'm just hooked on this. It's the best thing ever and I have noticed a difference in my hair when using this. And yeah, it just leaves my hair so soft and yeah, it's amazing. And in there I just have like miniature oils for my hair and things like the Batiste mini dry shampoo. The last drawer is very kind of random because it has like my shower gels and like bath bombs and then some like extra things that don't have like space for anywhere else. So the first thing you see is this Johnson's baby shampoo. This is the shampoo that I use to wash my face like makeup brushes with and I really really like it. It's super gentle on the brushes and it doesn't ruin down running or anything like that. So then I have some shower gels like this one from Marc Jacobs. Again it comes in the set that I usually get and a backup of the Soap & Glory Sugar Crush body wash because this is my favorite body wash of all time. I have another one like in my shower right now. And another body wash is this Dove Go Fresh um, body wash, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it smells really nice actually. Then I have a couple of bat bombs and like bat fizzers. So this is 
the Body Shop Frosted Plum Bath Fizzers. I really love these, they smell so nice and they like turn my bath like purple lilac color. It's so, so pretty. And then I just have like random like products and there I have some Lush Bath Bombs. So, so the first one is the Comforter. It's just my favorite Lush Bath Bomb of all time. Then I have some Fun, it's just fun, I guess. <laughs> Another bat bomb that I have is this one, and I think it's the Intergalactic or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, this one. And just some more bat bombs there. So that's all the bat bombs that I have. Then I have my backup, like the second one of the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm still using the first one here that I used and I have the backup right here. And I also have the Real Techniques brush cleansing palette. I use this every time I wash my brushes so I just have it there. Then down there I just have some like hot wax and I have some of the So fragrances down here. There's two more down there and yeah. That's basically it for that drawer. So that's everything that you're going to find in my Alex 9 drawers. I really, really like them, as I said at the beginning. And I would definitely recommend these if you're looking for some makeup storage. That's the nine drawers that I just showed you. And then when you come down here, I have my desk. So it's just my makeup desk that I usually do my makeup on. And yeah, now I'm going to show you what's in there. So the first thing you see on my desk is a few candles and like basically just white and rose gold things and I keep my jewelry on this little plate. Then over here I have my lipstick stand and I just keep all of my MAC lipsticks there and some NYX and Sleek and Kat Von D. So here I have the Sleek Matte Me Liquid Lipsticks, the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, my Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick, some MAC Lip Liners, another Liquid Suede NYX product, and yeah, as I said, my MAC lipsticks. If you would like to see a MAC lipstick collection, let me know. I don't have that many lipsticks, but if you would like to see what shades I usually go for and what shades I have right here, then let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to do that for you. Then my mirror is there and you can see in the mirror that behind me I have my two prints from Coconut Lane back there. I'm gonna link them down below because they're so pretty and it's such a great like decoration piece. And I have some more here, there. Over here I have my makeup brushes and a little like makeup holder drawers I guess that I just keep my everyday makeup in. These are just the things that I don't have to go to my, oh there's me, hi. <laughs> I don't have to go to my um, drawers and get my makeup every single morning so I just have all the makeup that I use every single day in these so the first thing I have here is the Nivea post shave balm I just use this as a primer then I have another one of the bourgeois healthy mix foundations I have the Maybelline lash sensational mascara then I have the Maybelline brow drama and the Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer. In this little drawer, I have the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit that I usually use. I also have my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. In this one, I just have my like MAC eyeshadow that I fill my brows in with. In here I have my all-time favorite highlighter and it's the Bam Mary Luminizer a Maybelline color tattoo in on and on bronze. It's just the eyeshadow that I'm currently using. Next, <laughs> the brushes. So in this little glass container kind of, I have my eye brushes and I just have some MAC brushes. Then I have the 
Penny's eyebrow brush that I use every single day. I would really recommend this one if you're looking out for a new brow brush. It's so good. Then I have some brushes from like eBay, <laughs> another Penny's one, and then just some more like Real Techniques, just some random ones. Then in this little container, it's just the one from Ikea that everybody has. <laughs> But it's so pretty, I really, really like it. So in this one I have another MAC brush. It's just the 109 brush. Then I have some brushes from Spectrum Collections. It just looks like this. I recently reviewed them and I'm gonna link my review down below if you wanted to see it. But they're just so soft and so amazing that they're literally like my new favorite brushes <laughs> so I have a couple of those there and then the lovely pink and purple brushes that are super soft again are from girls with attitude I got sent these to me recently and I'm going to do a post about these as well if I haven't already then look out for that but if I already have then I'm gonna link it down below so yeah, I just got a couple of their brushes and I'm really excited to start using these. Right here in the back, I have this big kind of brush container and I have some sponges that I use every day. Then I have my eyelash curlers. Then I have some brushes from Real Techniques because they're the brushes that I usually use. So that's the powder brush, then I have the, what's it called, buffing brush, the blush brush, another one is the contour brush, then a brush from Nanshi, some more real techniques, this is the sculpting brush, Penny's brush, like a fan brush and then just some random brushes that I got like off eBay and everything like that. These are the ones that I got from eBay. They're pretty good actually. They were only like five euro or something. But yeah, so that's like, that's my brushes there. I'm literally obsessed with makeup brushes and I know that some people might think that I have way too, mu too many brushes for one face. <laughs> but honestly, if you're someone that does makeup all the time and if you're someone that like cleans brushes I clean my brushes once a week so I really actually need that many just because if one eyeshadow brush gets dirty then I need to use another one and yeah it's just super handy to have loads of brushes and there are a lot more brushes on my wish list than this so I'm definitely gonna have more in the future so now going on to the drawer as you can see it just goes on and on but first I'm going to start here and this is where I keep my own nail polishes. So in here I have ones from Barry M just because they are my favorite nail polish brand. I'm actually gonna go in a tiny bit more so you can see the colors. So there you can see all the shades that I have. So that's all Barry M and then I'm actually gonna move these a little bit. There is more Barry M, some Sally Hansen, Topshop, Kiko, Technic Cosmetics, Wet and Wild, Oriflame, and yeah, that's basically that. Then over here I have more nail polishes that are just like random ones. So I have a couple from Models Own. I got these last year and they're so pretty. I used to wear them all the time. They're super like fun and summery colors. Then I have some from Ted Baker, a couple of Avon ones, and then just some like random ones. I also have more there in the back if you can see, and then some extra like storage from lipsticks and everything. Here I have some cute nutrition kind of like vit vitamins I guess. And I also have some whitening strips down there. Here I have like Q-tips, 
my makeup removing like pads my contact lenses my contact lenses holders then I have like bobbins clips nail files and all of that jazz <laughs> moving on I have some baby wipes because I use them to like take makeup swatches off my hands my tangle teaser nail polish remover some more extra wipes these are from pennies some extra like cotton wool pads so in here I also have some fake like nails so these are from kiss and then I have some more down here they're just like a different style I have some glue and some more nails I was sent these recently but I don't really use like stick on nails just because my nails are like long enough so I don't know I might give them away or something like that just so I can give them to someone that will actually use them then here I have this nail like dryer it's so cool you just like press on it and it dries your nails it's super cool and then behind there behind the cute nutrition I have my jewelry so like my necklaces rings and all of that and that's basically it for that drawer so again that's just the overview of what my makeup like station collection looks like and yeah I really hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my drawers so I really hope you enjoyed today's video even though it was super long let me know in the comments below what are your top three makeup products of all time because I would love to know and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this makeup collection and if you love makeup and subscribe if you're new and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!